What up? Jeff here with all my Bitcoin renegades. And it has been a sucky day for me today. Uh, this is the fourth time I've created this video today. Um, the first time my cat was scratching up the couch and then I hit my leg on it. That was like a 35, 40 minute video that got uh, messed up. Then I did another one after, you know, calming down after that incident. And... I couldn't find the information that I needed because it just all of a sudden was gone. So on my third video, I got everything together. I did the whole video and then it got corrupted on the software. So I have been dealing with the biggest nightmare possible for my channel. Um, and I don't know, it kind of seems like this is the government or, you know, I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist like that, but it's kind of funny now that I'm doing really good on YouTube and my channel and my Twitter and everything's starting to really blow up and I'm starting to get, you know, uh, to places where I want to be, these weird things happen to me. Like the stuff that I searched for in Google an hour ago is no longer there when I put the same exact search term in. Um, my video corrupting after I finish it, which doesn't happen, why would that happen? It just corrupts and never did that before. Um, so yeah, I've had a rough day guys. So bear with me. We do have some good news. Um, why does Bitcoin and crypto in general always fall on Monday morning? What is up with that? I wake up and it was in my head sleeping last night. That's why I'm doing the video today because I was like, I was worried about it. I was like, I had a dream that Bitcoin went down to like 35,000 when I woke up. So when I got up, I'm like, oh, I need to look at the price. I need to look at the price. And then I forgot for a little while and I started doing, you know, my morning routine. And then I'm like, oh, I forgot to look at the price. Let's go look. And so I look and of course, Bitcoin tumbled. And let's go and look at that first. And then we'll get some kind of idea on um, a little bit of what we're talking about here with, you know, the, the weekend and then Monday morning um, coming up and wrecking us. Because look, now we're down even more. Because when I did this video earlier, I was at 9,500. And now we're at 9,325, excuse me. And so, yeah, Bitcoin and, ooh, we just had a dump, that's why. And it was the graph. Maybe Bitcoin too. But this is what's hard about Monday morning. See that? This was the starting of the day. And then we went way up here and then way down here. So this was actually Sunday. This was yesterday. Yeah, September 26th. So oh, we were doing good yesterday, yesterday, and then Monday morning comes and just dumps. And it's continuing to dump. We were at 69 cents earlier. We were doing pretty good sitting up here. And then boom, 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 dump, dump, dump. And this is because it's Monday morning. Now let's look at Bitcoin. Same thing, I'll bet you. Bet. Yep. See, and we actually went further down on Bitcoin because we were at 43 over here. And now we're sitting at 42. 294. And we were just at 43. And we we're sitting nice at 43. So, yeah, Bitcoin is uh, really struggling on Mondays and I'm going to tell you why like this isn't fun this isn't oh get out of Bitcoin it's going to dump no this is what it does guys this is what Bitcoin is famous for and what it does you can look back let's go on the month and this is the perfect example actually let's do the week first so this is a perfect example on the week um you have this is a Sunday right here right September 21st and then Monday what wait we were at 43,000 on Sunday right cool wait 39,600 on, and it's always about like two to four o'clock where it goes down. Well, this time it was at two o'clock. Uh, for us now, it's four o'clock. Let's see when the first big dump was though, actually. Two o'clock, no way. Two o'clock, is this at two, if this is at two o'clock. Oh my God, dude, look at that, 2 p.m. And then look at this one, 2 p.m. No way, dude, it dumps every time at 2 p.m. Let's see, is this at 2 p.m.? Okay, no, but this one is. I'll bet you. No, well, that's not the weekly. But every time when it dumps on a Monday, um, the lowest point is always at 2 p.m. So if you're ever going to put a short in or a long in, I mean, do it at 2 p.m. Because at 2 p.m., it blasts off from this point, the very bottom at 2 p.m., you can see, and then it blasts up after that and doesn't stop. So, um, this is Monday, like we got Monday here and then there's Tuesday and then the 23rd, where is that? Wednesday, the 24th, is it the 24th? Yeah, the 24th and then we dump. 
So that was Thursday. We got to Thursday, dumped, got to the weekend, got up higher, got to Monday and dumped again. So, but 2 p.m. on Monday is normally the lowest price for Bitcoin. Now, um, that would have looked something like 42,000. Wait, we're below that now. 42,7, we're below that. Yeah, well, we just had a dump off, that's why. We were up here at 43 not even that long ago. We just had a big old dump over $1,000 in the last hour since I've been doing this video. Um, so it seems like even when bad things are happening to me, it's happening to the market as well. So I think it's probably a worldwide thing. And I don't know why that happens. Just a lot of bad stuff happens. Um, this is one of the most I've ever freaked out though with it happening. My neighbors are probably wondering like what happened in here <laughs> because I was freaking out, man. I did three different videos. It took me three hours to do all three videos and I had to redo them all. <laughs> and then I see Bitcoin go down and it's like, man, the world is really good at just throwing us garbage, man. I don't know why. I just, I used to have a lot of luck in crypto. I used to have a lot of luck um, with every trade I did, I was profitable on. And now ever since the market is just going crazy um, and I'm just having a hard time with everything. So if you guys want to help me out of this hard time, smash that like, subscribe to the channel if you're not, and just leave me a comment like a thumbs up or a, a finger and forefinger. Just be like, hey man, it's all right, we feel you. Because uh, it sucks, man. I need some support here from people, man. <laughs> so if you can help me, that would be the best way to help me. Give me a like, uh, subscribe to the channel if you're not, and comment, comment, comment. Um, and then hopefully if we get at least 50 comments, that'll make me feel a little bit better since I had to make the video three times. And I did the same thing yesterday too. That's the thing. It's like, this is starting to become an everyday occurrence. And it makes me think like, is my phone hacked? Is my computer hacked? Because this keeps happening over and over and over and over and over and over again. And it's the same things to stop me from making my videos. Now, um, it's either I'm hacked or the universe doesn't want me to succeed. I'm going to overcome though, guys. I'm overcoming this. Whether I mean, this has been one of the hardest things I've ever dealt with in my life um, when it comes to technology and like my career. Not like per I've had harder personal stuff, of course, but um, yeah, this has been really tough because I've put a lot of time, effort, money, energy, and everything into this. I put my whole being into this, and so when things keep going wrong over and over and over and over again, and then the price of Bitcoin beats me up, and it's just like, man, can I get a little reprieve, please? Can you just back up a little bit and give me some room to breathe and to, you know, recover from the last one? You already beat me up yesterday with three videos corrupting. And then finally I did the fourth one. So, but as for crypto and stuff, guys, uh, Monday morning is a notoriously bad day for crypto. It ha always has been. And I think what happens is on the Monday morning, um, well, so what happens is I think the company sells off as soon as they get to work Monday morning. So they sell off, it, it's up at like 43,000. They sell it off, it goes down to, you know, 40,000. Or I think it was up at 44, it went down to 42,000 at the beginning. And so what they do is they sell at the 44, and they're waiting, they're trying to push the price down now, so they're probably selling a little bit more to try to get that price to keep going down, and then they're probably selling a little more. And then what they're gonna do is they're gonna buy all of the what they sold plus some when it gets down to the lowest part, they're going to wait until the next Monday to sell it. So they're going to have, or they might sell it Friday if it pumps on Friday before the weekend. Normally it doesn't though. So that's why you see the big sell-offs on Monday is because these companies, it's not a big profit yet on Friday. So they're going to wait for the weekend pump and then come back Monday morning. They know if they're the first ones in the door and Monday morning, they'll have a nice price because the price is always really good. Sunday night, Monday morning, until the companies, you know, get to work and start moving the market and doing all that stuff. Ren, get away from there. Get away from there. <clears throat> so, yeah. Um, I just, I want you guys just to be positive and don't worry about um, sharp price drops on Mondays. I'm really, if anybody to be worried about it, it's me because as you see my uh, chart right here, it has done nothing but fake me out, go up and then dump on me. Fake me out, go up, dump on me. And it's done the same thing to all of you guys. So we are all living this kind of 
you know, up and down roller coaster. Now, this is something that could shake people out right here. This. But when you get over to what we have this week and you go down to 39.6, actually, it'll look better on Bitcoin. To show you. Yeah, you, um, you, you go all the way up to 45, right? And I can see even this might not shake people out anymore. But so we're at 43. We go down to 39. We start to recover. Get all the way back up to 45. Yeah, we're recovering. We're going to 50K. Dump. All the way down to 41. And then we kind of go sideways at 42, another dump, double bottom bounce. And then we get up to another 44,000 on a Sunday. And then Monday morning comes for the another dump. Now, that isn't going to shake people out, guys. Like this little from 39 to 45, that's not going to shake even weak handers out. Because all the weak hands are already out. So they're, they're trying to, sh this is a shakeout right here. When you get down, up, down, up, down, up, like all those volatile, real big shakeout moves like that, that is them trying to get rid of all the weaker hands and the strong hands. But that can't get rid of the strong hands. You know what can? This. This is the biggest tactic psychologically that they will use on you when you are trading crypto. Now look at this. It goes, we start to finally see a $50,000 breakout, guys. Yes. So everybody is buying in Bitcoin right now. It's looking good. The market's going up. We are returning to the bull market. People are FOMOing in. Things are looking good. You get a big FOMO spike right here all the way up to 52000 We sit there for hours and hours and hours. And then it comes to be about 1 o'clock in the morning. Um, we, we come to about 1 a.m. We're sitting at um, uh, 52000 354 at 1 a.m. Okay, 52,354. And uh, then we dump all the way down to 45,000. But if it was just going to stay at 45, that would be okay. That isn't, you know, we dropped 45 is actually a good support area. Um, we could sit there. That's right where the 200 day moving average was. We had a lot of support with the 200 and the 50 day moving average both being there. And then we had this little pump. Oh, it's starting to work. We're getting almost to the $50,000 range again. And then dump. And then that would shake people out. And so what they're doing now is going sideways after. So what they do, why I'm going to explain why this is psychological and why this will shake you out, guys. And if you want to know, this is their tactic. So what they're doing is getting it in your mind that you could have made a giant profit right here if you would have sold out. This is the first part of the tactic. And I've noticed it with every crypto. And this is, this is my proof. This is my truth. Um, so what they do is they get you up to a high level where you're in the profit, where you're like, oh yeah, this is nice, but we know it's going to go higher. So I'm not going to sell. It's only at 52. Bitcoin has a, a all time high of 65. I don't want to sell. So they bring it just high enough for you not to sell. Um, and you don't think it's going to be the top and then boom, this happens a big drop. This is the biggest part of this psychological move. The big spike then the big drop after the spike. So what it does is it gets your mind thinking, I just lost all of that profit. That, uh, oh my gosh. Okay, well, this is the second part of it because you're like, okay, it'll, it'll come back though because it was just at 50K, it'll come back. You know, we went down to 45K. Okay, it'll come back. And then it does, it starts to come back and you're like, yeah, I knew it, I knew it, yeah. And this is the second part of the psychological. So it goes up again. And then it dumps even further than it did an extreme dump. And this is the biggest psychological part there is. Now, you could have had a huge profit over here at 52,000, right? And then it dumped to 45 and you didn't sell out because you're like, okay, it's starting to go back up. And this is how they get you. And then it starts to go back up and then it dumps even more down to 39. And you just basically have the choice now if you bought in, say you bought in at 50K right up here, you bought one Bitcoin. Now your Bitcoin's only worth $42,000. So you're basically $8,000 in the loss right now. So, and what if Bitcoin goes down further? Like, what is it going to do? This is to shake out the weak and the strong hands. The weak hands would have been shook out probably here. And if not, they're definitely here. They probably would have rode it up to about 44 and then sold. Guaranteed. 
They wouldn't probably sell down here, but they probably would when it spiked up to here. And if not there, they would have done it here. And so this was the shakeout. And then it goes sideways, guys. That is the big thing with after this big pump and then the dump and then the mini pump and dump is to go sideways afterwards and maybe even give you a little pump in there too. But that is the big tactic that they use. And it's a psychological, I guarantee. Um, if a psychologist studied this and took what I'm saying into account um, from what I know about the market and the way that it works, I guarantee that they would say, yeah, that is a psychological thing that um, triggers your um, win-loss reflex in your head. And so when they, when they mess with that a couple of times, get you thinking you're going to win and then you actually lose, it makes you have to react in some kind of way either to sell to buy more or to do something and that's what they want to do is force your hand so they don't care what you do if you buy sell trade they just want you to get more into the market so they can have more of your money that there's more money in crypto it might not just be to take your money it might be to just add your money to crypto and a lot of it is to take it especially if you're leverage trading so um there is a lot of different things that are going on in crypto that you got to be aware of they have these tactics that are psychologically they probably hire psychologists um to ask hey what would the best way to psychologically shake somebody out of a uh, currency or a stock at a loss. How could you get them to sell at a loss? Well, one of them is to make a big spike where you would have gained money and then lose money right afterwards. That is one of the biggest tactics I've known in every stock, every cryptocurrency, and every form of exchange traded funds, cryptos, or anything else. That is what they do. They give you a spike and then it dumps. If you do not sell during the spike, and the spike is never a big one. It's never a big one like to, you know, from 40 to uh, 70,000 and then you sell. No, it would be like from this, like, you know, it's starting to climb up 47 and then it pumps to 52, but you're not going to want to really sell out for at 52. You're, you're going to want to keep climbing because the market should keep climbing. And then what they do is they dump it on you at the price where you're not really, most people aren't going to sell at 52. That is a weird place to sell at. Um, and so you get 99% or 95% of the majority that didn't sell up there. And then you have this, the people that did sell, which caused the sell off, which was a lot of money. And then we go sideways and we go back up and they really dump on you and then go sideways even more with volatility and it really works to shake people out. So don't be a victim of that. Hold strong. Um, these have been a really hard couple of weeks. Just remember September is a notoriously red month, which means it's notorious for going down, down, down. Look at this. 66 cents for the graph this is like dream price purchases but you know i'm i'm at the point where altcoins have been failing so bad and they are um one of the reasons why the market cap went from 3 trillion all the way down to 1.9 trillion so we lost 1.1 trillion of our market cap in the last couple of months guys yeah we were at 3 trillion and now we're at 1.9 trillion that's pretty worrisome um, you know, Monero's only at 234. That's a $400 coin. Tron only at 8 cents. V Chain at 8 cents. The graph at 66. I mean, what the heck is going on here? Bat at 61. Dash at 153. <laughs> wow. Digibyte at 4 cents again. What? Yeah, the whole market. Lisk at 2. Ravencoin at nine? I mean, what is going on here, guys? This is horrible. Okay, we just gotta sit through this, guys. We, we'll make it. Uh, hold my hand, guys, hold my hand. <laughs> we'll get through this together. Like, for real, I kinda need someone to hold my hand right now, like, I'm scared, <laughs> you know? A uh, dollar nine for Polygon? Wow, look how much these, a oh, dollar four for Clover? Fetch.ai, oh my gosh, look at AMP way down. Request, wow, Request is doing good in, uh, in the midst of chaos. Wow, look at the spike up to, oh, 20 cents. <laughs> Not really doing that good. <laughs> a rally, 54, and everything is down across the board. Cody, Cody is up, baby! I did a video on this one not that long ago, and it's up, I don't know why, but it is, 48 all the way to 65, that's up. So, all right, guys, that being said, you know what time it is. Goodbye and good Bitcoin. Bang!